Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how I made this plane crash animation in Blender easily. So hope you guys will find the tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video please click on that like button to share this content and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and support me. So further without any ado let's begin today's video. So here you can see I am using Blender 2.92 nice. Now let's select everything in this default scene by pressing A on the keyboard and delete. So now let's start this by creating a ground plane. So go to this add mesh select a plane. Now press S on the keyboard and increase the scaling here. Now again press S and Y to increase the scale in Y axis. Nice. So now let's import our aeroplane model. So here I got this model from Sketchfab. Download link in the description. So let me import that one first. So go to this file import. It is an FBX file. So click on this FBX select that file and import FBX. So here you can see we got this plane model. So select the plane model, make sure the origin is at the center, origin is set to geometry. Now press N. So here this model has got some transform values. So go to this object, apply all transforms. Now it's okay. Now press again to close that. So now let's animate our plane. So let me place it here first. Let me increase the ground scale here. So press S and Y and also S, X and here nice so now select this plane let me place it here now let me rotate this a bit now press i on the keyboard and add a keyframe for location and rotation let me show you so here you can see we got a keyframe here now move forward like 30 frames forward and let me change the location of this plane like this and also let me rotate this a bit okay now press I once again to add keyframe for location and rotation. So if I play this, you can see we got this kind of animation, but the speed is not constant. So let's fix that. So come to these options and change it to graph editor. Click on this key interpolation mode and change it to linear. Now switch back to this timeline. So now if I play this, we can see the speed is constant. Nice. So now let's apply rigid body physics onto this both objects. So first select this plane, come to this physics property, add rigid body. So type change it to passive. Now select this plane model, apply rigid body physics. And beyond the first frame, scroll down to this animated options, enable this animated option and add a keyframe here by clicking here. So now come to the last frame, like 30th frame. Again, add a keyframe. So make sure this animated option is checked in. Now move one frame forward. So on 31st frame, uncheck this animated option and add a keyframe here. Okay. So if I play this, we can see we got this kind of animation. Nice. So now let me add a colliding object here. So go to this add mesh select cube. Okay. So press S and increase the scaling of the cube here. Press three and let me place it just about to the grid okay so for this also we need to apply rigid body physics so select this model come to this rigid body and let it be active so if i play this you can see our plane is colliding with this object so let me take out that rigid body physics and let's break this cube into small pieces by using self fracture add-on so we need to enable self fracture add-on here so if you are not enable that come to this edit preferences add-on and here search for cell so enable this self fracture add-on and save those preferences okay so once the fracture self fracture add-on is enabled now let's add some subdivisions here so press tab right click subdivide subdivide so these much of subdivisions are enough okay so now go to this object quick effects and select this cell fracture. So here source limit is 100. That means we'll get 100 pieces here. So rest and all I will leave like that only and hit OK. So here you can see we are getting some pieces generated on the cube. Nice. So select this main cube and delete that one. So now select any of the cube piece. So let me hide out this plane first. So let me scroll down and hide out this plane. So now select any of the piece from this cube and add a rigid body and let it be active. So if I play this, you can see the piece will be falling down. So we need to copy these settings for rest of the pieces also. So press B on the keyboard for box selection and select all the other pieces. Now come to this object, rigid body and copy from active. 
so now if i play this we can see we got the crash animation but here the pieces are falling down before the plane collides with them so we need to fix that so select any of the piece from that cube scroll down come to this dynamics and add this deactivation enable this deactivation expand it and enable this start deactivated also so now press b once again select all the pieces come to this object rigid body and copy from active so now those pieces will not fall down they will fall only when the plane collides with them nice so here each and every piece is of different size so that the mass will be different but here if you see the mass is same for all the pieces so now let's recalculate the mass of each and every piece now so select any of the piece box selection press b and select rest of the pieces now come to this object again go to this rigid body so here we got an option called calculate mass click on that so we'll get this preset so i will select as brick nice so if i play this we can see we got this kind of animation the plane is floating because the mass is less when compared to the bricks so if i select any piece here you can see the mass of the brick is 35,000 kg but our plane mass is 1 kg so let me fix that so select the plane and let me give mass value of 30,000 kg okay so if I play this nice okay let me enable this ground plane fine so in this way we can create this plane crash animation in blender easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care